Well, 21 is gone, and we're bringing in 2022. Happy New Year's to all of you. We have a lot of exciting things coming to the channel this upcoming year, and I hope you guys all enjoy what you see and join us for the journey. Uh, I, I really don't know where 2021 has went to. We've all been exceptionally busy this year, and my respect goes out to all of you hardworking people. We have got a lot done in 2021 here with the bridge building, the chainsaw milling. That's been a real treat. Clearing out some more trail for the mule. That's been really nice. And most of that is due to you guys. Some of these projects is not something that I may have tackled this year, but in order to give you something to watch and me something to do, it turned out pretty good for all of us. It's always nice to reflect on a year and realize the work that you have accomplished and not all parts of the year is perfect but on the other side of that uh, by the time we get to today you look back and say wow it, it uh, really did go quick now this bridge here that we built this year is one that I have been putting off actually procrastinating a little bit on doing the project but once the chainsaw mill come along and to give you guys something to view it turned out really well and now we have the trail open back up for us. Being able to get the mule across through here a little safer because the bridge is now wider. So that was a project that was well worth doing. And we have several more coming up this upcoming year that I hope to complete. And I always try to set my expectations a little higher than most of the stuff that I can actually accomplish. <laughs> but that's part of it, right? If you don't plan for something, chances are you're not going to complete it anyway. And uh, this is one of them that I am glad that's done. Been opening up this creek back here. I have wanted to do that since we've owned this property and we had a, a good year to do so because the water had dried up and it was really nice to be able to get down here and get this cleared out. Again, we've made more trail for the mule but we've also made it to where we can now walk down through here and enjoy it, you know, on, on a nice peaceful trail walk. And you guys got to come along for that journey too. And as we disturb that water a little bit, we may even find some arrowheads. That'll be really neat. And if I do find any, I will positively share that with you. That turned out great down through there. Now, early last year in 2021, we almost lost this bridge. We had to do a lot of work to repair it to get it to where we could actually use it again. A stump had washed underneath the previous bridge and almost took it completely down the creek. So we do have it back to where we can use it again. But this upcoming year, I think we may go ahead and rebuild this one as well. Get the bracing uh, secured a little tighter and uh, again, a little bit wider for the mule wouldn't hurt either. And uh, just another really fun project that really suits the lower part of the property here, giving us access to be able to cross the creek if we're hauling firewood and things like that. I think this is going to be an exciting area for us this coming year. Uh, we have already made a couple of substantial purchases for the channel and uh, I'm really looking forward to bringing that to you guys and we've done real well with the chainsaw mill here uh, that's a decent pile of material so far and we've made some really nice projects out of it we may even put us a building up down here or at least a roof to protect this stuff while we're down here working and things like that so this is going to be an interesting space for us in 2022 and I am looking forward to this. I've, I've had a lot of fun doing this work. And we already have some logs ready to go. And as the weather permits, I'm going to try to get these milled up. And we're continuously adding to the firewood pile as well. I think I have enough for this year. And in next fall in 2022, we will have a pretty good start on it as well. Again, we've done a lot of work here this year, guys. And largely due to you uh, helping me find projects to keep myself busy with. You can 
see here in the background, picking up limbs and sticks and keeping this place clean is something that, that I can spend a large portion of my time on. And I do enjoy that type of work. Uh, it's really nice to be able to come back and walk across the property and not be tripping over a bunch of tree limbs or you know broken trees laying on the ground. And the chainsaw mill uh, give us a really good opportunity to use a lot of this material now instead of just carrying it out to the burn pile. But we'll have to get this cleaned up and that process is going to start here pretty quickly. Um, probably about the time the ground freezes up so I can get back here on some of this muddier soil now uh, and hold the mule and the trailer up. I'll start carrying this stuff out of here. And it, it's part of keeping our wooded acreage clean. And uh, again, it's a, a process, but it does get done. This is another issue I wanna take care of this coming year. Uh, I'm going to try to get our hands on a mini excavator and see if we can't start removing some of these larger diameter stumps out of the ground. Um, make it more attractive back here as well as not have to worry about hitting it, hitting it with the mule at nighttime or something like that. As long as we can get a substantial sized machine and get it back here and actually dig some of these out. These larger stumps like this, this is uh, probably 14 inches across. Now those, those can be cumbersome to dig out of the ground. But we'll see what we can do. And I do have a handful of them spread out back through here. And as we move forward with the milling process, I don't want to end up with a bunch of these stumps sitting around, and uh, I would prefer just to see the nice growing trees. And I will say removing some of the trees that are uh, damaged or have the oak virus will help the other trees survive longer as well. So it is a type of forestry management that we do try to keep track of the things that we need to remove in order to save the healthy trees. And it is a process that if we have time in 2022, you guys will get to see, uh, and it will be nice to get this area cleaned back up a little bit. Not that it's terrible now. We've done a lot of work back here. Now this area back in here is a pretty good cedar grove that we're going to try to both cut some new trail into and utilize the cedar for some of the milling projects that we have coming up. And uh, it's going to take quite a bit to get through there. Those trees are pretty close together. And I think that will make a perfect trail for the mule rolling through the cedar grove there. And uh, we always see a lot of deer and turkey up in this area as well. So that's going to be one of our bigger projects this coming year. Is, uh, it's about a thousand feet through there, so that's pretty good trail we have to cut and yeah, it definitely takes some time but I think we can get it done. This year in 2022 is also going to give us the opportunity to remove some of the oak trees down through here and if you look way off in the background there you will see the milling area. So I want to take some of these uh, mid-sized diameter trees out of here and let all of this stuff kind of grow out and up. So we need to thin the trees just a little bit and again, it will work itself right into some of the milling uh, projects that we have going on this year. And we're also standing on one of the fairways for the golf course. This is hole number 16. And uh, it wouldn't hurt to open this up a little bit too. Some of the guys hit a tree or two every now and then. I don't know where they find them at, but you know. So they'll thank me for it as well. This is another project that turned out really well. And we now have one of a kind picnic table. And again, trees milled on our property. And as the kids set through here throughout the next handful of years, maybe reflecting back on the old year into a new year, they'll uh, have some enjoyment for this. Thanks for watching. I really hope you and your family have an awesome new year and I hope it goes smoothly. I respect all of your hard work that everybody does on a daily basis. And that's what makes the time fly by. I'm looking forward to getting 2022 started. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bring in the new year.